know you've been avoiding it. I know you're scared and you don't want to do anything wrong and you don't want to break anything, but it's time. It has to get done. It's time to clean your Glowforge. Hi, this is Katie from Things Katie Makes and today we are going to clean your Glowforge. I know it's super intimidating and you're worried that you might break something or that you'll do it wrong. I know that you can do it by yourself with some simple tools and you can be really confident that you did it correctly. I'll show you kind of the two hardest parts which are really getting a piece off of a belt and putting it back on and I'll show you all of my tips and tricks along the way. The supplies you'll need today are as follows. Compressed air, lens cleaning wipes, usually people use Zeiss but I have these, contact cleaner, some microfiber towels, the first thing that you need to do when you clean your Glowforge is make sure that it is turned off and unplugged. don't want to risk anything going awry there so make sure that you've unplugged it and then you can get started. The first thing that I do is I clean out the crumb tray with a little shop vac. I have this mini shop vac that I use. Any shop vac will work. I just liked the look of this one. After I've cleaned out the crumb tray with that shop vac, then I remove the crumb tray and then I continue to clean with the shop vac inside. completed it's time to start removing the parts so I will take the off the printer head so I'll move this forward a little bit and then you just gently remove this from the magnets and you'll take out the ribbon and we're gonna set this aside and clean it in a little bit right now this is the part that really intimidated me at first but now I'm pretty comfortable doing it and this is thanks to When Geeks Craft, and I will link their video here as well. This piece that you're looking at right here is spring-loaded, so when you pull it forward, you can pull that off of its little path. And you can see that now it's hanging down. Now you need to remove this completely from the belt, and you can see that there is this cable with the teeth that's going onto the uh, wheels. So I'll show you now how to get it off of the wheels. Getting it off is not as hard as getting it back on. All right, so you can see this here, and what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna very gently push this off with my thumb, my thumb facing this direction, and roll it off of that wheel. And then it will easily come off the other side as well. And this, we will clean in a little bit as well. The next thing that I'll do once I've removed those two pieces is really just give the Glowforge a good wipe down with a microfiber cloth. So I'll clean inside of the door because that gets pretty filthy and it really just needs water to be clean. I'll wipe down the tube. You can go crazy and really get into the tube, but I have not found a great solution that really gets the inside of the tube clean and it's more about aesthetics than it is about performance anyway. Um, but I have seen people use paper towels attached to packing tape. And for, again, for this, I'm just using water on my microfiber cloth. You could use LA Awesome if you wanted to, but I just don't really see the need to introduce anything else in here I don't need to. I'll wipe down the inside of the lid as well. You could use a glass cleaner, but it's just gonna be filthy again soon anyway, so I just wipe it down. Now while you are doing this part, you'll want to clean two lenses. One of the lenses is inside of the Glowforge right there, and you'll want to clean that with one of your wipes. And then you'll also want to clean the lens with your wipes as well. That you should be cleaning after almost every cut, especially if you're trying to use the camera for alignment and placement. The next piece that I want to clean, and it could be argued it should be cleaned first, is really the back vent. So I use this AC Infinity duct hose, which I think really helps minimize smells. 
And I also use the extenders from Martinson Manufacturing. So, bleh. To clean this fan, I will use a combination of compressed air and wet towel again. Mine's not in too bad of shape right now. I cleaned it recently so it isn't totally gunked up, but it can get pretty bad. All right, now these two parts are what need special care when you're cleaning and what get really dirty. So you wanna make sure that you start by removing your lens. And this tool that you got when you got your Glowforge that said, do not lose this, has a note that says install and remove. So you will take the section that says remove, you'll place it inside like that, and then you will take your lens out. And you wanna set that aside. Now you can see it's pretty dirty in here. This little fan is filthy. All these components are dirty as well. So right now I also, there's a lens here and a mirror here that I wanna take out. You can see there's a little spot on that mirror. So I'm gonna start with my compressed air. And that way I can get most of the dirt off. It doesn't look too bad. And then I will use the contact cleaner that's made specifically for electronic parts. And I will spray that on these same things. And then I'll set that aside because I got it kind of wet. So I'm gonna let it dry off to the side. Okay, now this one. If you haven't cleaned this yet, you need to clean it. And this is one that probably, if you're asking what's wrong with your Glowforge and someone's telling you to clean it, they're probably talking about this. This gets pretty disgusting and it probably doesn't get cleaned as often as it should. So again, we'll start with compressed air. Even shoot that compressed air right down in there. And then if I'm still seeing a lot of dirt in this, I might stick a Q-tip in this. I will take a Q-tip and I will just clean inside of this to try to knock off some more of that dirt. And then once I've knocked off what I think I can knock off manually, I will spray it with the contact cleaner. And then I'll go back in with another clean Q-tip. All right, now I know that that's not perfectly clean, but it's a lot better than when we started. So I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna spray it out again with the compressed air just to dry everything off. I also will take just my rag and clean off these components as well. All right, so that's ready to go. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe my hands with a baby wipe before I clean this next part, just so that they are not totally filthy when I'm touching the lenses. So I just use a little baby wipe, try to get some of that black off I've been accumulating as I've been cleaning. And then I'm gonna start with the mirror. The first thing that I will clean is that little, see that little spot on the mirror? So I'm just gonna clean that gently, wait for it to dry, make sure it's clean, that looks good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and replace that part. You wanna make sure that this goes in correctly. This one's a little odd because it doesn't really lock into place. It just sort of sits there. So you wanna make sure that when you can see your uh, serial number that it's lined up facing that and that the Glowforge logo is visible to you and it just sort of sits. It's pretty loose, but it has the cover that goes right on top. So that's set. Then we'll quickly clean this lens, these two on the bottom, all right, and then I will clean this one. So super gently, I'm cleaning it, and I'm gonna flip it over. Just make sure it's clean on both sides. I see a little spot, so I'm gonna make sure that I get that. Okay, so now that it's clean, you can see that we had the remove, like this where it was, it grabbed onto the magnet, right? So now we need to put it back. And the way that you can know how this part goes is that there's a little rim on top of this that sort of nestles into this piece, but there's also an arrow that tells you which way it goes in. So you can see the arrow and it will hold on. It's not a super tight hold, but it holds on. So then you wanna place this into, and then you wanna push it back down in, and then you should be all set. 
And if you want to check, you can just remove it again and replace it. All right, so that is ready to go back in to the laser. So replacing this piece correctly is probably the most challenging thing that we're gonna do. And you wanna make sure that on this little belt that the teeth face the teeth when you're setting this up. So when you go to place this on, you wanna make sure that both of these are inside of your part. Then you'll wanna place this on. And you wanna make sure the teeth face teeth. You'll place it on the one side first, and then you'll go to the other side, and you will use wheel to help get this on. So you'll turn the wheel with this on, and it'll simply slide right on. So again, you'll push it on with your thumb, and then you use the wheel to push it on. And then you're all set. Then it's time to replace this. So you'll place the ribbon in, make sure that's secure, and then place it back on your magnet. Make sure that it can roll nice and smooth, and you are good to go. All right, so my Glowforge just got a nice spring cleaning. It feels good, right? You'll definitely wanna make sure you're doing at least the minimum amount of cleaning weekly. So clean your fans, clean your lenses, and do a deep clean every now and again. If you're cutting something like MDF, you'll need to clean your fans significantly more often as that can really gunk them up. And if you're running into any problems, one of the first things to check is, is my machine clean? If you haven't bought your Glowforge yet, there's a link in my description to save up to $500 off yours. And now that you have a clean machine, you should go get it dirty. So the next video I think you should watch is this five beginner projects I think everyone should make first with their Glowforge. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the tips and tricks I'm providing on Tuesdays and Fridays.